Hi everyone, Blue some Skull Busters, and today Gran Turismo released their trailer for the upcoming update for this month. So, let's get straight into it. First up, we have the Aston Martin Valkyrie. This 1,139 horsepower beast is coming. It's got a naturally aspirated V12. This car will absolutely sing. Next up, we've got the Mitsubishi Lanza Evo 3. So that just adds to the Evo collection. And we've got the classic Impreza STI from 2004. And that's it from the trailer, but let's go into the patch notes now. Next up, the Anest Iwata Racing RCF. Now this is just a new livery for the Lexus RCF GT3 car, but it does actually look like a pretty good livery to be honest. Bit of a strange addition, but you never know, they might be making some money from this. Next up, it's the extra car menus, so one for the Subaru and then one for the Mitsubishi Evo and obviously includes new and old cars, so if you've already got them in your garage, win-win. After this, we've got the music rallies, so we've got six new music rallies, all with different music on them. Some Lewis Clark in there again for those of you who like a bit of the old classic stuff. But to run through the songs, it's Good Old Days, Classics Remix with two X's. Drift, Mareccia with Celia Camina, Hooked on America and Life's Coming In Slow. And last but not least, Moon Over the Castle GT7 version. There you go. There's also two new scapes locations. So the first one that you can see here is Monterey in California. And the second one is just called Field of Flowers and that's in Japan by the looks of it. Oh yeah, Hokkaido. So there you go, right. One extra thing that might get added in is uh, an engine swap and a new engine. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for any new engine swaps and uh, we'll cover them. Right, let's talk about what we're not getting. We're not getting any new tracks, unfortunately, and we're not getting any new events because we'd have a, a new cafe menu for them. So unfortunately, the things that they need to add in to make the game better, um, they're not quite there yet, but... You never know, they might have a change in direction, change in heart, start adding more tracks in, more events. I think events are the key thing. Everyone knows that the that that's what made the previous Gran Turismo's forced you in the different cars. So let's hope that they go down that route. Right, folks, we'll see you all next time. Adios.